Hi my loves and welcome back to my sketchbook. Thanks for joining me today and thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I wanted to hop on today and talk a little bit about how I've been reconnecting with my art recently while actively trying to improve, just creating more regularly and how that's led to new ideas and just more of that spark and excitement coming back to my art and creativity. I'm feeling really positive about the work I'm doing at the moment, I don't know if you can tell, but it took a second for me to get to this place. I, like a lot of people, initially saw lockdown as an opportunity to spend time on self-improvement and projects that I otherwise wouldn't have had time for, and I quickly realised that A, I didn't have more time than usual, I've probably had even less, and B, you can't expect inspiration and suddenly being the artist you always wanted to be to just fall into your lap overnight. And I moaned and I huffed and I puffed about my lack of progress for a bit, but that got boring, so then I started to take a more clinical look at what I actually wanted and I broke it down into the simplest of steps. I knew I was happy with my landscape paintings in gouache, but I was disheartened every time I tried to paint anything else, so I tended not to paint anything else, which meant that all the non-landscape related ideas that I had were put aside. I also felt like I'd lost some of the vibrancy and style of my work, mainly my sketches, since that's where most of my work starts anyway, so I wanted to see if I could do something to get that back. And the only other thing was that since my routine at home has changed a bit in recent weeks, I'd fallen off track with dedicating some time every day to sketchbooking, so just drawing or painting or journaling freely for about an hour or so to keep the creative muscles warmed up and explore different ideas. So it made sense to try and combine all three of those things into a short and hopefully fun challenge to kickstart momentum back into the right direction. I wrote a list of 10 objects or things, anything but a landscape really, and I decided to spend my morning sketchbook session sketching and then painting that thing. I would do one a day for the next 10 days and then just see where it got me. And I decided on only 10 days because I knew in the past that I've been too ambitious with things like this um, and just become overwhelmed with a more mammoth task. So 10 drawings I knew I could do, and even if I missed a few days here and there, catching up wouldn't take over my life. And I kept myself accountable by sharing my plan and goals on Patreon and posting my progress there. Now, if you're in a similar boat or feeling dissatisfied with your work, you can do something similar. Just tweak it to your own needs. You know, you could be doing a drawing of a face every day for 10 days, or if you're just trying to sketch more and create more freely, maybe you challenge yourself to 10 days of abstract work or a daily sketchbook session where you put on some music and just create the first thing that comes to mind as you listen along. And in doing so through a bit of trial and error, you might also inadvertently find the ideal time of day for you to create. And speaking of trial and error, the first day was of course the hardest for me, but because I was keeping the sketchbook sessions short, I didn't feel like I'd wasted my time at all. It was more of a reconnaissance mission, like delving into my process to see what areas were lacking. And it was also just a great warm up for whatever my day had in store, creative or not. It's almost like making your bed every morning. If you can check that off your list, you feel like you've accomplished something and maybe you can keep up that momentum for the rest of the day. Another great way I've been warming up is with some much looser, more fun practices. On the rare day that I really couldn't convince myself to do one of these paintings, I could still keep up my daily creative time with one of the exercises from the Skillshare class, Intuitive Illustration for Quick Fun Exercises to Unlock Creativity. It's taught by artist and illustrator Amber Vittoria, and she shares her process for getting out of her own head so that she can create intuitively and bring some fun and spontaneity back to her art. And I just found it so helpful for reconnecting with some looseness to my work and a chance to make something different with no pressure. They're simple concepts, but until you start actively giving it a go, you don't realise what a difference it can make to just have some go-to easy practices to fall back on. Anyway, as you know very well by now, Skillshare is an online learning community for anyone to take classes at any time on topics ranging from fine art and illustration to web development and business and marketing. You can check out that class and however many more of their other tens of thousands of classes that you'd like for free for two months if you are one of the first 500 people to click my link in the description. And after the free trial, annual membership comes to around $10 a month for unlimited access to as many classes in the ever-growing catalogue that might take your fancy. 
So after that first day, as time went on and I let myself relax and have fun with it, I started looking at what needed working on. So mainly the consistency of the paint and blending as well as the colors I was using. And those are the things that I then actively focused on in following sketchbook sessions. Bit by bit, I started to see an improvement, which in turn helped build my confidence and made me more eager to continue. I am done now, this is the last one, but I'm excited to keep painting almost every day. Now I'm not carrying on to keep improving. Um, that would be a bonus, I would love that, but I just want to maintain where I'm at and not slip back into that place of rustiness and uncertainty. I'm happy to say that my sketchbook and I are friends again. We're closer than we have been in a couple of years, I think, and creating more casually has opened up so many new ideas. I do feel like I'm going back to a time before the pressures of posting online influenced my work, and the best part is feeling confident in those new ideas, finally feeling like I'm capable of executing them. I have to take a second to thank each and every one of my patrons having their support, being able to share the good, the bad and the ugly with them. I couldn't have been in a better position to spend that time on improving my art. And thanks also to all of you watching. Having you here allows me to do what I do and I'm so grateful. And finally, thanks again to Skillshare for supporting the channel. See you in the next one. Bye.